Hello everybody, my name is Tanner and welcome back to Zomunity. Today I'm going to be continuing the custom map series in which I teach you guys how to create a custom zombies map for World of War on the PC. Today we're just going to be going over compiling and playing your map um, after you've built everything that I'd show you in the past couple episodes. Um, I'd also like to say real fast, um, I haven't been uploading these for about a week and that was just because I was on vacation, but I'm back to making these tutorials now. So let's go ahead and get in the video. Now once you have launcher pulled up, you're going to go to compile level. And what you should see is your map. You should see Nazi Zombie Zomunity and Nazi Zombie Zomunity patch. Um, but the name will be different for you obviously because it's your map. Now what you're just going to want to do is go to Nazi Zombie Zomunity, check mark this, go down until you see your map name which is Zomunity and you're going to check this 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 and this and just hit compile and depending on what you have in your map so far this might take a while I'll just go ahead and let it play through this and when the world at war window pops up don't um, mess with it. Like, don't move it around or anything because it'll stop responding and not work. Alright, so now that's done. It's just going to finish it. Alright, and if you see warning, bad type FX, I honestly don't really know what that means. Um, I don't usually use FX in my maps, so I don't really worry about this, but if you find that it has some um, issue with it, then just go on to zombie modding and make an account and make a forum post about it and somebody can help you or you can just ask me and I can figure it out for you. It's taking quite a while. It usually doesn't even take this long, but just let it go through. <clears throat> Alright, and um, don't worry about these errors right here yet. Just go ahead and go to Nazi Zombies Immunity Patch. Click mod specific map again and go to the Zomunity. And then you're just going to click this, build fast files, and hit compile. That only takes like a second. Now what you're going to want to do is go over to build mod. Go to this and scroll down to your map name, in this case Zomunity. And this right here is the um, menu that we added into Zomunity and just check mark everything over here that's what you need to do make sure everything's check marked and then make sure these two things are checked right here and hit build mod Alright, now that's set for uh, compiling. Um, I'll be back in a minute with some gameplay of the map after it's all loaded up and everything, so I will talk to you guys in a second. Alright, guys, I also forgot to mention something else. Um, you will, well, um, you might not, but if you get the errors that look like this, the accessing path errors, what you're going to want to do is go into your mods folder in World of War, wherever that is at, and you'll see Zomunity. What you're going to do is just right click it, copy it, and bring it over to this 
um, folder. Um, just take a look at where this is located. Now when you go to users, click on your name, um, this app data folder will be hidden. So either type it in up here or make your um, folders uh, visible, however you do that. Go into app data, go into local, Activision, World at War, mods, and then just paste that folder in here and just replace all the files. All right, now I'll be back. All right, guys, we're in World at War now. So um, what you're going to want to do, um, you can see you have the uh, menu buttons here that you can use to start your um, map, but don't do these just yet. Um, since, you know, you're making a custom map, you're going to want to be able to test it. So um, you're going to go into um, the console um, mode. So what you're going to want to do is just hit the little squiggly line under the escape button on the top left corner of your keyboard. And this should pop up. But if it doesn't, you need to go to options and controls, game options, and make sure enable console is on yes. Okay, so hit the squiggly line. Type dev map Nazi zombie zombie unity or whatever your map name is all right as you can see we're inside the map we have everything that I've added the barriers right there the box is floating but that's no big deal the risers rise Um, and what you guys, um, don't worry about that. Um, this Colt right here, when you get in game, your Colt is not going to look like this. I've just been editing with my weapons recently, so it kind of looks funny. Um, so that's also why when I open the box, there's only monkey bombs and a carbine. When you guys play this, you're not going to have that issue, so don't worry about that. See, it has no sound, but uh, jug works fine. Uh, I would mule kick works fine, but I'm not gonna test it because you know I can't. Uh, nothing even happens when I buy that Panda Shrek, so uh, yeah. But you won't, you guys won't have that issue. That's just my fault for um doing that. But don't worry though. As you can see, everything does work fine, though. So, uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.